everyone, welcome back. This is part two of my reading for a Facebook friend. So we're trying to suss out what is going on in his career, in his main job versus his side business or his side thing that he's doing, like most of us are doing, even me. Although I definitely know that my side thing is actually meant to be my main thing, but sadly, you know, um, a person has to survive. You have to do what you have to do to make ends meet. So the good thing about my side thing is that it is actually a passion of mine. It is my main passion, helping people out. <clears throat> so what I'm seeing here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is you feel like you've had a run of bad luck or you feel like fortune is not working in your favor. I'm seeing with the Three of Pentacles, it's like it's a middleman situation. Sorry, hold on. So it's like the card of seeking advice, seeking counsel, going for counseling. Literally like getting a second opinion. With the High Priestess, it's telling you to trust your intuition. Because as we saw, you might know the answers already. Okay? Now, I don't know if something happened to you. <clears throat> Gosh. That throat chakra is playing up. It is your throat chakra that I'm going to blame this on. Because I literally pick up your energy when I'm doing a reading for you. And gosh, I'm having re really difficulty expressing things right now. Okay, Six of Pentacles is the soulmate or past life card. But it also speaks about you reminiscing about the past. Thinking about when things were better, like the good old days, like wishing that things could go back to the way they were. I feel like you lost, you lost something or you experienced some type of a loss. And then that run of bad luck, what you see as bad luck. And that is what's made you feel like this. Kind of like you wish things could go back to the way they were before. Okay, King of Swords represents you. And then Three of Swords represents heartbreak, sadness, disappointment, like the Five of Cups. Very similar. Obviously, this is not pertaining to your love life at all. Because I do pick up that you are very happily married. Okay, we are going to go in now and clarify all these cards and see what we can get. Hmm. Some heavy, heavy energy here, really. I'm not going to rose coat it or sugar coat it. Alright, with the Six of Swords reversed, it's clarified with Ten of Swords. Five of Wands reversed, the world reversed. Nine of Wands reversed, the tower reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Clarified with Six of Pentacles. Let's see, Three of Pentacles. With that, you have Ace of Cups reversed. Keep in mind that even if this is not a love reading and if a love card comes up, it doesn't always speak about love, not necessarily. I see what this means, by the way.
The High Priestess with Five of Pentacles. Then Six of Cups with Knight of Pentacles. King of Swords with Page of Swords reversed. I don't know if you are considering starting a brand new venture or a brand new project. I don't know if part of you wants to cut out the second thing that you've been doing and look at doing something completely different. Because I do see that you've considered dropping this with that death card. Okay, that's exactly what I was just talking about. There you have Seven of Wands reversed with Three of Swords. It's like you're resisting something, but I'm feeling like in the future you will not be resisting it anymore. Okay, at the bottom of the deck now you have Page of Wands, well, reversed, with Eight of Cups reversed, with Two of Swords. Okay, so there's no announcement coming in. It's like someone wants an announcement to come in. Someone wants a declaration to come in. Someone wants a new beginning kind of or a message. This is like kind of like, you know, it, it's not a pentacles card, but I'm feeling like in your case, it's like you waiting for money to come in. And the eight of cups is the walking away card, but it is in reverse. So either it is telling you that you will walk away from something, but you're not seeing it yet. Or this is literally you not wanting to walk away from something. Because I see indecision with the Two of Swords. Now please keep in mind that I'm not a fortune teller. I can't give you complete and definite outcomes. I can give you possible outcomes. I can give you an idea of what might happen. But ultimately, we all have free will, and it is your choice. Now, I'm seeing that you're feeling defeated at the moment. You are experiencing the Ten of Swords. So in between the last healing I did for you, which is like not even a month ago, and now, something really happened that crushed your spirit. I'm feeling like it's work-related. I'm feeling like you were very hopeful, very optimistic, thinking that, you know, you'll start seeing results when nothing came in, and it's left you feeling very defeated. Okay, so with the world in reverse, I'm feeling like there's a purpose behind all this hardship. I know it sounds cliche. But what I can say is that the world signifies a cycle, okay? And when it's in reverse, it's telling me that life must go on. It's not the end of a cycle yet. So I'm feeling like even if you were to drop this second thing you've been doing, now's not the right time. Or now's not the time that you will be dropping it. I feel like you will still continue it for a while. I'm just looking at a time frame here that I can give you. I'm seeing a lot of number four. No. <clears throat> Two, three, five, six. You know what? I want to say like five to six weeks or months from now. I feel like that's the time you're going to give it before you can really make a decision. And if by then it hasn't brought you that satisfaction, or that financial stability that you've wanted, then I feel like you should really consider looking at something different. With the tower in reverse here, it's like there's a tower moment coming. Now, <clears throat> oh, now with the tower, it's normally a surprise, something you don't expect. Gosh, this is really not my voice this is not my issue this is your throat chakra that i need to work on for real because there's so much that you want to express so many decisions that you want to make and it's just not happening 
Okay, I'll talk about the Tower Moment in part three. Please stay tuned.